So I just bought a used one wheel pint and I um, just wanted to share with you guys the experience and what I looked for when buying a used e-board. Um, I've bought a bunch of used e-boards in the past, you know, a few months or so. I've uh, been buying and selling and I know that, you know, when you're about to spend upwards of a thousand bucks on something, you know, it's something that you want to make sure you research properly and have all the facts in line. So let's go for a little ride and I'll tell you what I was looking for when I bought this one wheel pint. 10.42 a.m. 90 degrees already. Sheesh. So, connected in the app, you can see that we have 99% battery and 22 miles on this board. As we cruise down this nice straightaway here, I guess the miles would be a good... Um, thing to start talking about so 22 miles means that the board has about a nine mile range so at 22 miles that means that it's been probably through about three or four full charge cycles um I'm sure you can hear that freaking lawnmower man could you imagine having to mow all this grass oh my planta but anyway the board's been about probably through three or four complete charge cycles. Um, and most of these batteries can probably get anywhere between three to 500 charge cycles. Um, and even then the batteries are replaceable. Um, so 22 miles on the board, it's, it's basically brand new. That's the first thing I'll always look at when I'm buying a board is how many miles are on it. Chances are somebody bought it, they tried it for a few weeks and they either didn't like it or they couldn't get the hang of it and they just wanted to sell it. So. It was their loss and my gain. It's funny, I just had some guy stop me and said, hey, how do you control that thing? It happens all the time. So as this video goes on and on, I'm probably gonna get more and more sweatier, so apologize for that. But. I had to get outside and get some sun today, no matter what the temperature was. It's Florida, it's summertime, obviously it's hot, so the sun does amazing things for your skin and just for overall your mental health, so I had to get out here. The next thing we'd obviously check out is the board condition. Now the one wheel is very hard to protect because when you come off of it, usually it falls on the rail. So the rails do have some scratches as you could see in that video, um, and also the bottom plates have some scratches too. Um, but you can change the bottom plates, but you can't change the rails. So they do make protectors for the rails, which I would always, you know, recommend getting. Um, I didn't get them yet. I just got the board and I wanted to kind of share my experience with buying it. So um, condition of the board is definitely um, something that you want to look at because a board could be ridden 20, 20 or 30 miles, but you know, how hard was it ridden in those 20 or 30 miles? And this specific board was ridden very lightly. Mm -hmm. Thank you for walking your bike. The cool thing about the one wheel is that you can go very slow and inconspicuously. Had to stop for a quick break underneath this tree. Watch the wake borders go by. It's pretty cool. Hit the jump, dude. Hit the jump. Hit it. You didn't want to hit it. Um, anyway, the last thing you'd want to probably check out with the board or the last thing to talk about would be the price. You know, what's a fair price to pay for a used board? Um, I mean, there's so many different factors that go into that, but I'll tell you what I paid for this one. Uh, 22 miles, I paid 800 bucks. So this board is 950 from one wheel, then you have to pay shipping, and you'd have to wait, you know, however long, a week or two. Um, so I've saved 150 bucks plus shipping for a board that has 22 miles on it. Um, so for me, that's a good deal, you know, for, uh, for someone else. You know, it might not be the best deal, but um, I wanted to add it to my to my e-board collection just because it's fun to cruise around on the neighborhood. I can pull my daughter in her wagon. Um, there's just a few different things that I can do on it that I can't do on an electric skateboard. 80% so. battery, I've gone almost two miles. 
Let's see if I can burn up this battery in the next uh, 15 or 20 minutes. That's what I gotta go. reason why I wanted to add a one wheel to my collection is you can do a few more things than you can with the electric skateboards with the free hand um, and the maneuverability of it is so much better um, you can go at travel at slow speeds and you can really turn on the dime All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing to the channel. I make videos about e-boards, BMX bikes, jet skis. If you got any value from the video, leave it a like. If you guys have any videos that you want me to make about any boards or anything in general, just uh, leave it in a comment below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Just trying to boogie right now and get home because my wife's gotta go to work. She's gonna freaking kill me.